Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Tonight's video we're going to be doing a full post review on this painting you see in front of you. This painting comes from victoriousmoon.com. It is a 45 by 60 full square drill. And before we get started with this full post review, just a little disclosure. I am not an affiliate, nor am I being paid to do this review. All the information I'm providing you is information based on my experience with this painting. So let's jump into it. So basically, I'm doing a post review on the drills. Now I had done a painting for Bailey back in August, and it was a full round drill. And in that post review, I had mentioned that I would really like to see and compare the quality of their square drills to the quality of their round drills. Now I have to say I really do like their round drills. The only thing I didn't like about them was their three tens and the reason why they were stuck together, it was just a huge hassle to pull them apart. Other than that, I had no complaints whatsoever about their drills. So when Bailey reached out to me and asked me if I would consider doing another review, but with their square drills, I, I jumped on it. I thought, yes, I want to do this. So this is the painting that I chose, and this is a 45 by 60. Now, I have to say, I do think the size is adequate. I do like the way it turned out. Um, I do like the um, detail that the painting pulls out. It could be a little bit bigger, I have to admit, yes, but all in all, it really doesn't look that bad. It looks great in the viewfinder. Now we all know that these paintings are designed to see from afar, so if you look at it too close, of course it's going to look pixelated, but from afar, it looks really nice. But again, this review is on the drills. And as I said before, I really do like their round drills. But I can't say that about their squares. When I first started doing diamond painting, I started with square drills and I had done square drills for over a year and a half before I started doing rounds. And believe me, I have pulled my hair out several times with different stores with the quality of their drills. Now these drills are not horribly bad, but they're not the quality that I would like to work with. And I'll explain why. One of the major issues I had with this painting was the inconsistency in the sizes of these drills. Now, honestly, not one of these drills are going to be exactly the same because we all know that's not possible, but they should be fairly similar in size and similar in thickness. And I found that I had three different sizes and thicknesses. I had the big drill that was thick. I had the correct size drill and the correct size thickness. And then I had the small drill and it was thin. So those were the three sizes I had in these drills. Now, if it was just one or two colors, yeah, you could work with that. But this was with 80% of the color. And I started noticing that even at the beginning, because I usually start here in the top, and I really started noticing that um, even when I was up in here, that the drills were just not consistent in size. So it was going to be a problem, and I knew that. At one point I almost gave up, thought, eh, I'm not going to finish this, but I thought, no, that's not really fair either because I really did need to know that it was all the drills, not just some. Now, after I had completed the painting, I did reach out to Bailey and I basically told Bailey that the square drills are going to be an issue and I explained why. Now, some of you that are new to diamond painting, you might be asking that question, well, why would it be a problem? 
there are three things that can happen when you have drills that are this inconsistent. One, your lines. You cannot straighten those lines out. They're not going to be um, nice and neat. You're going to have drills that are not going to uh, butt up next to each other or snug up next to each other. So that's one problem. The other problem is if you have a thick, big drill next to a small, thin one, you're going to have some gapping there. So your drill field will be a bit exposed and you know in some cases you probably won't notice it but um, some cases you will so that was the second problem the third problem is when you have like let's say a bunch of big drills together then you have drills that are bunched up and most likely are going to start popping off the canvas so those are the three things that can occur while you're working with drills like this. And again, like I said, I did speak to Bailey about it and Bailey did reach out to me. Sorry, this is gonna bug me. I gotta get it out. Um, Bailey did reach back out to me and thanked me for um, letting him know. And he did say that he was going to uh, speak to the supplier and see if they can work out um, the issues with these drills. So I, I really do appreciate that Bailey is, is stepping um, up to the plate and hopefully they can work out something with these drills. I do like the shine and the shimmer that these drills have. Um, that wasn't a problem at all. They're just like their round drills. They're very shiny. They, they um, have a lot of sparkle and a lot of shimmer to them. But again, when you're fighting with the drills to stay down or you're trying to cover up gaps, it, that part kind of seems to fade away as far as, oh, they're pretty and shiny and sparkly. So that is my um, review as far as their drills are concerned. Would I recommend their square drills? If they improve their square drills, I would say yes. I really do like how shiny and shimmery they are. However, they really do need to work on that inconsistency. Would I recommend their round drills? I've said this a few times. Yes, I would. Their round drills are really nice and they're easy to work with. So before we end the video, there's a couple of other things I wanted to bring up, and that is the improvements that Victoria's Moon has done with their kits and since the first painting I got from Alvina. So I wanted to point those out as well. One of the major things that I had spoken to Bailey about was the background color on their drill field. Some of you might be asking, well, what do you mean by that? So I'm going to be bringing up a canvas here just a second. So if you were to look at this canvas here, you can see the different colors on that drill field. And the colors would represent the color of the drill that's actually going to be placed on top of that section. So you can see the blues, the purples, and the reds, all those beautiful colors. Now, this is ideal. When you receive a canvas that is just basically one solid color, and the color is kind of a greenish gray color, it's not ideal. And the reason why I say that is with a square drill, it isn't going to matter because you won't see that drill field. But with a round drill, it could cause problems because that drill field is still visible. Of course, you'd have to be really close up to it, but nevertheless, it's still visible. And when you have the drill field color coded to match closely to the color of the drills, it's not as noticeable. So I did bring that up to Bailey when I did my last review. A couple other things that they've improved on. The painting that I received from Elvina did not come with an inventory sheet. 
The two paintings that I got from Bailey, both paintings came with an inventory sheet. So they do provide an inventory sheet now with their kits. Also, they've improved in their tool kit. The kit that I received from Alvina and the first kit that I received from Bailey, the tool kit was very basic. Just a basic green tray, um, a single placer pen, uh, some extra Ziploc bags, a piece of double-sided tape to repair the canvas if need be, um, and a pair of extremely flimsy metal tweezers. Now these tweezers were flimsy, they, they, it was just a waste. And the reason why I say that is because they have a super strong adhesive. And let's say you put your drill in the wrong spot and you take those tweezers and you try to pluck it off the canvas, it was difficult with those tweezers. So now what they've actually put in their kit and it's over on the other side, so I have to walk around and I'll show you. Oops. Sorry about that. So now what they've done is they have included a pair of these tweezers, which are the heavy duty tweezers. They are a bit pointy. They are not sharp like the Ever Moment or the Hulican ones, but they're very nice to work with and they're strong enough to take a drill off of that drill field. So it was really nice to see that as an improvement, but they also now have a white tray with a spout um, their plate of wax is no longer small. It's a very generous size. They still include the Ziploc bags, the double-sided tape for repairing, and you also get a single placer pin with a comfort grip and a six placer. So they have improved their toolkit, which for me was important. Another thing that I found was a really nice um, improvement is that they had split the protective sheet instead of having one gigantic sheet it was split in two which really does help when you're trying to pull that back now if you're pulling your protective sheet too aggressively what will ultimately happen is you could create rivers and air bubbles when you have one gigantic uh, protective sheet on your canvas it's kind of difficult not to be aggressive because you're trying to take the whole thing back when you put it in sections it's not as difficult so therefore you don't have to be as aggressive and it really does help eliminate that problem of causing air bubbles and or little rivers so it was really nice to see that as well so I have to give them that they have done some pretty good size improvements. However, there are a few things that I would really like to see improvement on, and that is their square drills, obviously, and the way they package their product. And this is something that I've brought up before um, numerous times with all three of these kits. Because this is double-sided adhesive, and I tell you, this adhesive is probably the strongest adhesive I've ever worked with, it really should be wrapped around a foam core. You have to take in consideration the amount of time and the amount of weight that could be put on the box that it's sitting in. And by saying that, you want to make sure that you're going to give this canvas and any other canvas for that matter, the opportunity to arrive to the customer without having to do canvas repair. So, I would really like to see them put their canvases around a foam core just so that it gives that added protection to keep that canvas without, you know, to keep that canvas from damage, from, uh, you know, being squashed in between boxes and or things sitting on top of it. So those are the two things I would really like to see them improve in is their square drills you know, make them more consistent and also, you know, packaging up their product with a foam core. Okay, so everyone, that is it. 
I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell will let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So everyone, by saying that, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it's afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name's Janae. Thank you so much for joining me tonight on The Review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.